Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part two of Rags to Riches Vampire Edition. We're where we left off and we have Sylvia reading. She is reading the, or rereading the painting volume one, the fundamentals of painting because we're trying to get her skill up so that when she actually gets around to painting, hopefully she'll make some money on her, her um, paintings. And we have Bryce and he is reading too. He is reading fishing so that hopefully with him when he goes to fish when it becomes dark enough for him to go outside or for them both to go outside for that point, for that matter, that he will be able to um, actually catch something because he, if I remember correctly, has the ability. Let's see what we have here. I think he may have the, we have a lot of screenshots which I should get rid of. Um... To create plasma packs is what I was hoping that he had. And that's, I'm just looking, yep, discovered it. He can now make plasma. So he did that last time. So he is able to make some plasma packs. So we need him to catch some fish. And there usually are frogs in this neighborhood. And since they've been here all the same day, they should have hopefully spawned by now. But it is only 7.30. And I believe it might be around 9 p.m. in the non, and all the other worlds except for... Forgotten Hollow? Is that what the vampire world is called? I can't remember. It, uh, the sun is still out in this world. And if they went outside right now, they would be, start burning up. And he has the, um, Encyclopedia Vampirica in his inventory. And because it's a library book, I can't drag it out. So, and Sylvia does need to do some reading of that book. So when she's finished, uh, she looks like she's finished with that. And she did tick off. I think that was the book that got that. I don't mean to go into there. She has school. What I am going to do with her is just so that we don't have to deal with the thing phone all the time. And she's really not registered to go to school. So I'm just going to just have her not go to school. And she is still reading her book. I see that. Because I don't really want her to. Well, she will be going to school eventually. She's not going to school until they have a home. And then we'll see how it goes because I'm not really sure how well it works for vampires to be out. But I think they're supposed to be meant that when they're at school or if they were to work that they would be protected from the sun. But I have not actually had a vampire that goes to school or that works. So I don't know for sure how that works yet. Um, so let me just go a bit faster and it looks like it's almost time for them to be able to go outside and do some collecting and, and some fishing. I'm just checking uh, what I wanted to do is see how many points she has. She has 1250 because I would like her to have 1500 points so that I can buy her the marketable traits and she's going to be our little painter uh, to help us, you know, earn more money. So she's got her vacation day and I'm going to just go slow down. We have to introduce ourselves to him and I'm going to just switch her over to the friend of the world and do a friendly introduction because she needs to introduce herself to some people and she is getting thirsty but her social is also not the greatest at the moment so we figured well it is nine so we actually could go out so why don't while he's finishing his reading and then puts the book away then we will head out to do some and they had a boost to the relationship because of the fact that uh, we have the club perk to make this a friendly club so that they get a little bit of boost when they get to know people so let's see, uh, she wants to get to know Bryce. Well, I don't think we can talk to Bryce because he's reading. And it is helping her social a little bit, so that's a really good thing. And, and then I'm going to put her over on the curator aspiration because I will have her go around collecting things while he is fishing. So let's see how she's doing. So maybe just a couple of more. I was about to leave. <laughs> to go have her do some stuff because she is getting hungry so we need some frogs or whatnot and you know what you've read this fishing book uh, long enough you are level two. Oh, haza is me ha hamza is me so oh well is this her book let me check if that's her homework no it's not her homework it's someone else's and she's she can put that away in the daytime so let me just zoom out to get out in the world and get my bearings as to where on this end. So we're going to start here because she's closer to here. So I'm going to have her look for frogs and I'm going to have him 
um, switch over off of the nerd brain aspiration and onto the angling ace because he's going to go do some fishing. So he's going to uh, go fishing. And then we will have him fish here. And I think there's a spot down there. Yes, indeed there is. So we'll have him fish there. And she should be done. Yes, she is. She's coming out looking for things now, which is what I'd like her to do. And we'll have her dig up. Because then we can maybe earn a little bit of money. There is a, a lily, so we can harvest that and sell that. I would usually keep them, but since we're really going to be probably hanging out in this area for a while, I'm sure they'll re-spawn. Uh, and there'll probably be more, because I my expectation is that's only one of them right now. Since they have to, they have to stay inside in the day, so they really can't. They have to go somewhere where there's somewhere they can hide out, harvest another lily, and look for frogs. Just have her generally do some collecting. So, and I'm gonna just go fast because it's not really have her speed up her process of collecting and look for some more frogs nothing there they're not worth very much anyways there's a snapdragon and one more lily and pear, yeah, pear tree's not ready so I think she's got a lot and she's getting really thirsty and I guess I'm guessing he is too has he caught any fish? Yes. No, he hasn't. He hasn't caught any fish. But she, let's see what we're doing with her, her frogs. She has a spotted leaf frog, a striped eggplant frog, a surfer leaf, and a leaf. So why don't we breed the surfer leaf with the striped eggplant. And we just got the same one. So we got one of those. So we're going to put that over in his inventory and have him... Oh, we can sell this is worth 85 that toy we're gonna create a plasma pack I'm gonna have him drink that <laughs> there we go and I don't need to pause anymore at the moment and she has some lilies which we will sell they weren't really worth very much and the snapdragon and she only collected fossil rocks, which I kind of wanted to keep because they're actually useful for the curator aspiration because you have to convert them and have them once you get to the next part. Hmm. And is he focused? Oh, he is. So you, my dear, may as well do some fishing. Oh, he caught a strawberry. Not that's going to be much help for... I'm on the wrong one for a vampire. So we will have her go fish. We really need them to catch some fish so that we can convert them into plasma packs because she's getting hungry. And what is he doing? Okay, why don't you... Oh, he's, is he... That's where he already fished. Why don't you go fish here so you can get that third location. And hopefully actually catch some fish. But I think since she's really hungry, we're going to have to take one of these. And she doesn't have the skill, so she can't actually create the plasma pack. So I'm going to take the leaf frog and give it into Bryce's inventory and have him create the plasma pack <laughs> and give it back to his sister. <laughs> Things you can do. So I'm going to have her drink that. Drink it and stop fishing for now. And hopefully this will help well enough. Oh, he caught a guppy. Yay, he caught a guppy. So, because we can convert that guppy. It's not worth very much, but we can convert it to a plasma pack, which would would have cost them 50 simoleons to purchase. So we are going to create a plasma pack. Good. So that's one. So really that's what they're going to do overnight, is they're going to be fishing and uh, trying to catch... Oh look, there's more frogs again. You know what, I don't know if I have looked... Wrong thing, here's where I need to be. let us He's got three power points. So he could detect personality, occult 
student uses less vampire energy. Now that probably is really useful for him because of the fact that they don't have a bat or anything like that. So I think that might be a good one to get. And now the question is, do we get bat form? I know up later on you unlock like that really fast movement, which is really neat. I've seen it a lot and I'd really like that. But you can also get the draft of reconfiguration, which you also would be able to do at a higher level of vampire lore. And we could do... I think I'm going to do the bat form. That's probably useful for him because he might be far away and need to get into the away from the sun in the daytime. So that's what we'll do for him. Now let's check on Sylvia and see oh, she's dirty and she's thirsty again, which is not surprising to be quite honest. So let's look. She, for some reason, has eight power points. So we're going to do the uh, occult student for her also. And I suppose we could have done, instead of doing the bat form, we could have done that. But I'm going to do the bat form for her. But she only has one point, and this one is cast hallucination, make another sim talk to themselves. I think I'd rather keep my points for using something else, using them for something else. So how, has she caught any fish? No, she hasn't. <laughs> She's not caught any fish. Are there any more frogs that have come out? They are, there are some more frogs. So I think before it gets too late, I'm going to put her back on the curator aspiration. And I probably should have had him breed the frogs because I could have put them in his inventory to breed as opposed to just having him create. I may as well harvest that, though. Probably not worth it since it's only four simoleons. <laughs> um, people walking around. She got a striped leaf frog. And she may as well... I saw another frog. There it is. We're going to have her... No one's out. She can fly here as a bat. That was one of the reasons I was thinking maybe not to get the bat, because they are trying to keep a low profile about the fact that they are vampires right now. And she can collect that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract a fossil. Because of the fact that she's on this, um, this is where I said about the fossils. So hopefully she... Fingers crossed she's able to extract a whole fossil and not a broken one, because a broken one does not count. And the plant sim challenge is on right now. Um, I don't know that that's particularly appropriate for a vampire since they can't go out in the sun. <laughs> I don't think it would really work. Is that Jasmine Holiday? If we can drink plasma from her. <laughs> well, we're not trying to do that. <laughs> I think you probably have to call them from your home lot. And since they don't have a home lot... Or to all intents and purposes, they won't have their home lot until they're able to save enough money to pay for their home lot, which is 1,500 simoleons, and then they can go to it. Oh, look at this. We got potatoes, which would be good for, um, oh, look, and another frog's fond. Is she getting any good frogs? Oh, she got an actual one. It was 50, 45 simoleons. Let's try extracting another fossil. She keeps getting striped leaf frogs. They're not they're only worth 10 simoleons. Oh, Bryce caught a tuna. Excellent. A surfer eggplant frog. So this is an eggplant. What did, well, she may as well. And, um, oh, she got a broken one. Unfortunately, extract a fossil. And then another one. And she got them all. So we can sell those. That's really good. And let's try... I'm just seeing if I can breed the surfer eggplant. No, I can't breed it yet. So we will have her. Let's see. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. We'll see how much more we can do before we have to... They have to go inside. Because it's going to have to... They're going to have to go in soon. But what I was going to do... And we'll see how the day goes next time. So I may as well sell what she's collected here. She's got uh, these tiny tiny arms and then the broken is worth I think it was it's worth 10 I can just keep it for now because sometimes you can take those out oh that one was at least worth 100 and I'm not going to open up the time capsule I'm just going to sell it and I'll keep the flamingonium because when they actually go around to needing to um, get to the next one they have to send things to the uh I can't remember this. They have to send things in the next tier of the cur curator. They have to send them off. And it can be either a crystal or a um, 
Geological Council is what it is. They have to send five things. So you can send crystals and and metals to them. Oh, he's really catching fish. Look at this. He's doing really well, but it's 4.52 in the morning. I think we can speed up a little bit. So he's caught all his fish. And it's not really a rush for him to get the points. I think it's more important. Like this one's worth four simoleons only. So we're going to create a plasma plaque out of that. And the minnow is six. So we'll create a plasma plaque. 29. These angelfish aren't worth very much either. So he's got a whole bunch of plasma packs that they'll be able to drink today. So now they have six plasma packs. That is very good. But I think I'm going to have to bring them inside because it is uh, six o'clock in the morning and there I could just set it. <laughs> I'm going to bring them in. I'll have them fly to a unobtrusive, unobtrusive spot where they won't be noticed. And um, then when we get back next time, we'll have to deal with their thirst. But we have plasma packs, so we should be able to do that and, uh, you know, deal with their needs because she needs to wash up. He need, they both need to get their thirst. There we go. And they probably need to do some dark meditation. And there they go. They're inside in the library and it doesn't look like anybody saw them. So they're still keeping a uh, low profile. So that's it for this part. They've made it through the night. They were able to get some plasma packs, so they will have something to help with their thirst, which is making them uncomfortable, both, I think, at the moment. Definitely uh, Sylvia is uncomfortable, and so is, <laughs> so is Bryce. So we will get to dealing with that in the next part and all the rest of their needs, and we will see what happens. But uh, that's it for this part. They've made it through the night. They did manage to not uh, create any attention, draw attention to themselves by, you know, feeding from anybody. So that's a plus since they're still new to the area. But uh, join me next time and we'll see how long it takes them to save up enough money to buy their property. And of course, the property is not much use to them until they have enough money to actually put up some walls and a, and a roof because they need to have protection from the sun in the daytime. Thanks very much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye! If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you like the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks very much!